Three years ago, I lost nine thousand dollars. What happened was that I sent nine thousand USDT to my Coinbase account using the Solana blockchain. But here's the problem: at that time, Coinbase didn't support sending USDT through Solana. My funds were stuck, and when I contacted Coinbase, they gave me the worst news possible: my funds were essentially lost. So I went on Reddit to see if anyone had a solution. And I found out that a lot of people like me had run into the same problem. There was no way to recover these funds until today. If you're like me and accidentally sent crypto to Coinbase through an unsupported blockchain, I have good news for you. Coinbase has recently launched an asset recovery service, and I've successfully recovered my funds through this service. Today, I am going to show you exactly how to do it. Please watch until the end and follow the instructions carefully. Because there are some tricky steps you need to avoid, so you don't lose more money in the process. First, go to the link in the description, which will take you to the Coinbase Asset Recovery page. This is the page I have on the screen right now. Important note: if your lost funds are greater than one hundred dollars, a five percent recovery fee will be applied. Once you're on the page, scroll down and click Asset Recovery. Then click Continue. Now Coinbase will help you find your transaction. Here's what you need to do. Select the transaction network you used to send your crypto. In my case, I sent USDT through the Solana network, so I selected Solana. Next, you need to find the transaction ID. The transaction ID is a unique identifier for your transaction, and you can find this on the blockchain explorer for the network you used. To do this, go to the transaction history in the app or wallet you used to send the crypto. In my case, this is the Phantom wallet. Click on the transaction, then click View on SoScan or EtherScan or the relevant block explorer for your network. Once you're on the block explorer, copy the transaction ID. It's the long string of letters and numbers, and paste it into Coinbase's form. Next, you need to locate the wallet address you sent your funds to. On the block explorer, scroll down to find the row that says Wallet. This is the Coinbase Exchange wallet address where your crypto was sent. Copy this wallet address and paste it into Coinbase's form. After you've entered the required details, click Continue. If everything is correct, Coinbase will locate your transaction. If not, double check the details you've entered. Now here is where it gets a little tricky. Coinbase might say there are multiple assets tied to this transaction. Don't get confused. Most likely, there's only one asset. Click on Asset One. And Coinbase will direct you to connect a Coinbase wallet. If you already have a Coinbase wallet installed as a browser plugin, you can click Connect. If not, follow the instructions on the Coinbase wallet page to install the plugin and set up your wallet. Once you have logged into the Coinbase wallet, click Connect. Then confirm the connection in the pop-up window. Click Sign to complete the process. After connecting your wallet. Coinbase will display the recovery details: the asset being recovered, the amount being recovered, the Coinbase fee, the network fee for processing the transaction. Here's the important part: you need to have enough crypto in your Coinbase Exchange account to cover the Coinbase fee and network fee. For example, in my case, I needed Ethereum to pay the fees. If you don't have enough Ethereum, Coinbase will prompt you to add more. Click Add ETH, and it will redirect you to your Coinbase account. Select Ethereum as the asset you want to receive, then choose the network. Coinbase will display your Ethereum deposit address. Use this to send Ethereum to your account. Once you have deposited enough Ethereum to cover the fees, go back to the asset recovery page and click Send Now. If the recovery session has expired because you took too long, don't worry. Just click Got it. Then reconnect your Coinbase wallet and try again. So after connecting your Coinbase wallet, click Send Now. Verify your identity as prompted. Once everything is confirmed, Coinbase will recover your funds and send them to your connected Coinbase wallet. So check your Coinbase wallet, and you should see the funds show up. For me, the transfer was almost instant, but it might take a few minutes in some cases. Before we wrap up. Here are a couple of important tips to keep in mind. If Coinbase showed multiple assets tied to the transaction, make sure you're only recovering the correct one. In my case, I thought there were more assets, 
but there actually weren't. I ended up paying unnecessary fees for nothing. Don't make the same mistake as I did. Secondly, if you've recovered USDT through the Solana network and are not sure how to transfer it out of Coinbase, since Coinbase Wallet doesn't support sending USDT as SPL tokens, leave a comment below. I'll make another video on how to transfer Solana-based USDT out of the Coinbase Wallet. So if this video helped you, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or need further guidance, leave a comment below. I would love to help. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.